I mean, you could just show up at her house, be like, Savannah, get your dumb ass ready. Maybe not, actually. That'd be mean. Yeah. I don't know, like, anybody's gonna be up. <clears throat> right, just kind of jump in there out of nowhere. Like, not even mm -hmm. knock on our door or anything, just kick down the door. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> oh. Mmm, -hmm. churros. And I never had churros, and I had some oh. there one time just to hang out, and, like, Savannah's mom's boyfriend was there. <clears throat> yeah. Better boyfriend than her ex-husband or He's whatever. He's chill, dude. Are you watching the stream? What's up, man? I need you to watch the stream. Man, why you always being a nicky? Hey, don't say that. I'm streaming. Man, shut up. Ah. I smell like beef. I'll tell you what, Hatchy. Oh, uh, once you pull up, what? I'm gonna have you try one of these breakfast essentials. Just a breakfast milkshake. It's so, so good. So good. Breakfast milkshake? Oh, yeah. A chalky breakfast milkshake. Alright, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go get something to drink real quick. I probably have some of that, that Pizza Hut pizza you gave me that other day. You'd be lucky if that's so not be bad, bad already. That ain't bad. I ate like two slices today. Shit, alright. <clears throat> Once a pizza like stays in the oven for more than like two, three days, I normally throw it out. But hey, I'll you be bit. I, 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 okay. Go get your pizza. Go get your pizza. Mankind above all else. You know, it's not supposed to. Oh, there it goes. SpaceX SpaceX Personal log, system specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 17, April, 2037. Finally going home. Doesn't even seem real. 22 months since mission start. 10 longer than I signed up for in the first place. I promised Lucy I was going to be there for her. I promised myself I wouldn't leave her like this again. I broke both of those promises by taking Selfish paycheck job while your life passes me by in between. Father of the year. Alex really came through for me on this. My over one. Bitch. Can't wait to get off this goddamn station.
Why weren't you at elf practice? You just ruined the mood. This game's honestly fucking horrifying. What's happened? <laughs> I space game and what I have doing? no fucking clue where to go. Oh no. Hat, this is bad. What do you do? Well, right now, I've got to fix up an escape pod. This is like Subnautica, but space. I can't fix up the space pod if I'm dead, and I'm starting to... I'm starting to... I'm starting to die. You're gonna lose oxygen? Yup. <clears throat> this looks like the first death. Oh, maybe if I can make it there. No, no, I'm dead. Hold your breath, bitch. You can make it. No, never mind. Hold your breath. Come on. She could have. She could have made it too. She could have been like, <gasps> made it over there. It's whatever though. <laughs> First death. Mm hmm. Which. I had started this game the other day. But. Like, I made it. Around the first checkpoint, and I was like, damn, I gotta stream this. Mm hmm. The game's oh, really fucking got... pretty. I gotta piss. God damn it, Aji. I'll be back. Bye. Ah. Freaking delish. I see where to go now. I've got a rope. You gonna up. make it all the way over there? Yup. So when you gonna make the? What you mean? I can make it just fine if I can find it. Uh, if I can find these oxygen tanks all along the way. Oh yeah, you're right. Whoa. How's the earth look like? Is it looking good? Fucking pretty as shit. Look at that hat. Man. This is why I want to go to space. So apparently, the suit has an oxygen leak, so I can't stay floating in space forever. I'll eventually drown and die. Which is horrifying, by the way. It's the worst death. I feel like it'd be the coolest death. But no. Suffocation is my worst fear because I feel like drowning would be a very scary death suffocation no, no breathing, breathing. yes yes I know I had you I was there when the words were written 
Look at this shit. It's a whole fucking. You wanna know what the rarest death is? I would imagine being struck by lightning or tossed in a volcano or something along those lines. Yeah, you're getting struck by lightning. Ah! God damn it. Now my suit's malfunction. Uh, this game is a simulation of of what could happen if uh if you were stranded in space like this. You know what these are? These are waters. I can't hit him. Bitch. Get this shit off me! Oh, I can't hit that.
Alright, I'm back. My mama needed someone to rant at. You still there, Hat? Yeah. Right, I'm, gonna I'm gonna talk to you and watch JoJo at the same time. Oh, you're not even gonna watch my stream? I'm only playing this game because I'm streaming. I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I watch it on the sideline. You can't watch it on the sideline. Oh, that don't make no damn sense. You gonna be too focused on that on that uh gay ghost hentai. Bitch, come here. Gay hey, ghost hentai. Come here. Bitch. Yeah, gay ghost hentai. I know you be watching that. Stop, Platinum X. Zawaldo. Don't you, Hatchy? Yeah. See, I knew it. Why the fuck is there a tree in space? Look at this. It's a pretty ass tree. Too. Yeah. Is that a soccer tree? Oh, it is. It's pretty is what it is. Check this out, hat. Man, it's pretty as shit. Check it out, hat. Woo. I would 100% do this if I was in peril. I would just start hitting shit in space. See how far it'll go. I wanna go go to space. You wanna go where? I wanna go to space. Yeah, me too, hat. Me too. But you know what the closest thing to space is on Earth? The ocean. The ocean. And that's where I'm gonna work. It's the I'm not even pressing any buttons right now. I'm just drifting. Is that all you do, just drift? <laughs> <clears throat> the way the fuel consumption works in this game, you don't want to constantly be moving forward or else you're going to die immediately. The only time you want to move is to change your direction and then you just let anti-gravity take, take over. Hey. Oh, this game is pretty fucking cool. Like, even though you're watching it, I would still recommend downloading it and playing it for yourself. This feels like... This feels like it could be a really cool VR experience if you could do VR in a anti-gravity room. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go get more pizza. Damn, Pat. Just bring the whole box in your room. What the fuck's wrong with you? Well, there's two pieces left. Bugger, whatever. Man, you lonely. I'm lonely. Maybe a little. I'll be back. Wawa. 
Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4. Crew status. Medical Officer Edwards, Leo. Deceased. Scientist Hudson, Elizabeth. Deceased. Astronaut Lopez, Teresa. Deceased. Come here. System Specialist McDonough, Andrew. Deceased. Okay. Olivier, Sebastian. Deceased. Commander Oshima, Alex. Active. Space North Star 4. Core system status. Spiritus mainframe. Offline. Vocalist mainframe. Offline. Solaris mainframe. Offline. Mobilis mainframe. Offline. Manual mainframe repair required for Salvis EEB operation and launch. Come here! Son of a bitch. Okay. 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 Fine. 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 Bitch. Freaky. I'm back. This shit got freaky. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Did you find aliens? No, but this fucking music's got me worked up. Cerebrum core diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Cerebrum core fabrication required. Initiate cerebrum core fabrication. Cerebrum core fabrication complete. Cerebrum module repair required.
You hear this shit, Hatchie? No, hold up. Damn. This fucking shit. music's freaky as hell. Sounds like a, it's like music from Portal. Dude, I dig this. This is a very surreal experience I'm having here. Cause this concept is already horrifying in its own right, but the music, holy fuck. How would you handle this situation, Hat? I don't know. To be honest, I'd be scared. Yeah, no shit. You Everyone imagine. would be scared. But like, how would you handle it? I don't know. Hardiman Aerospace Mission Director, 6 June 2037. I don't know how I would feel like floating infinitely in space. It's horrifying. Projections and data indicate that well like, would you, <clears throat> would you try your best to stay in one spot, or would you try and like actually fix something and try and get back? But now is not the time for disruption. It is imperative that you follow protocol and procedure in order to meet our goals, ensure the success of the mission, and guarantee the safety of your crew. Do not let me down and prove your critics right. I would try and fix some stuff. That's just oxygen. Cause the what's happening now is I've got a, I've got to repair a part of the uh, escape pod. Oh. No, but if you've ever watched Love, Death, and Robots, you know that thing on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. I haven't finished it, I need to finish it. So there's uh, an episode where it's a chick in space, pretty much mm -hmm. going through what uh, this character is going through, and they, they, get yeah. it, they get it right. They get the, the horror aspect of it absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. Like you being alone in space. Yeah. Like, cause her comms were jammed and everything in the Love, Death, and Robots thing. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna spoil it, but it's fucking crazy. It's crazy, Hat. You need to watch it, please. You have a favorite one? Uh, one where the Russians are fighting the uh, monsters. No, oh. I like the one where there's like um. It's just like a couple of like rednecks, and they use like mechs to like kill monsters from like another dimension or something. What the fuck? That's interesting, I ain't ever heard of that. You never seen that one? Mm -mm. It's just like, yeah, you know, there's just a bunch of rednecks, and they like use like mechs and shit. Bitch. Look at this shit, Hatchy. Look at where I'm at. This is horrifying. Very pretty to look at, but scary nonetheless. Like I'm pretty sure I'm in a different part of Earth that I was than I was before. Uh, I wonder what I wonder what country you're top of. I think Africa. I'd have to look again though. Oh, Earth is there. I see clouds, I see clouds, I see clouds. 
Okay, I'm above the ocean, but I can't figure out what country that is over there. What I do know is, is I'm drifting a little too far. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is indeed yeah. the correct answer. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I want to go home. <gasps> so it's like <laughs> tries to like swim to the earth. No, the earth would be the last place I would be going, just because I feel like plunging down to my death is a little bit worse than trying to fix a ship. I seen that. I seen a guy do it once. I have two, but he had a parachute. I fucking don't. I don't think he was in like space or anything like that. He, he was, was just, like he really... was just outside of space. Yeah, and he just jumped. Like he barely broke atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Which is horrifying. I don't know why the fuck you'd want to waste perfectly good ground like. Jumping out of space. If something if something went wrong, then he would have a completely different relationship with the ground. Mm-hmm. Hatchy, this shit getting scary. Is it spooky? Yeah, space in general is a very, very scary thing. It's cool, don't get me wrong. Solar but... panels. Bitch! I want my Wi Fi. Move, nigga! Not actually sure how to enter this place because I'm pretty sure that's a window. Maybe I go in at the bottom. That wouldn't make much sense either. Or maybe I'm going completely off course and I'm gonna fucking die. An option, hopefully not the one that I take, but it's definitely an option. Yeah, that's a window. Up, maybe? I don't think that's it. I think I've gotta go over there at that broken part. <laughs> no, 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 hat. Hat! Hat! What? Save what? me, please, hat! I don't wanna die in this place. Or I should say, this lack of place. This. Where you space. at? I can't see you. I'm in space, bro. Look up. I don't know where to go. Oh. So you're gonna plunge down the earth? No, I'm not gonna go that far. But I do need to get back to a life support thingy, or else I'm gonna fucking die.
Ooh! Okay, I see it. I see where I'm supposed to go. But I would still like to get that oxygen first. See, if they added this shit to No Man's Sky, that would be fucking crazy. Character got hurt because of that. <laughs> Hatchy, look. System Specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 17, April, 2037. Finally going home. Doesn't even seem real. 22 months since mission start. 10 longer than I signed up for in the first place. I miss Lucy, I was going to be there for her. I miss myself, I wouldn't leave her like this again. Look both of those promises by taking another selfish path. Job while his life passes him by the other one. Father of the year. Activating a sphere release system term. Alex really came through for me on this. My own frame one. online. Can't wait to get out of this goddamn detected. station. Cerebrum module repair required. Activate oh, Cerebrum my access God. portal. Cerebrum access portal online. Thought I was done. I really thought I was done. <laughs> There's more hat. There's more. I think I gotta go to there. I really could just camp at this one oxygen station until my buddies came to rescue me. But fuck that! I'm a man! Warning. Catastrophic event detected. Huh? Or systems repair required for emergency oh. escape vehicle launch. Oh. Ah! Hey, I don't know where to go. A little bit, yeah.
I think I might go this up. This game have a VR function? I was talking about that earlier. I said if it did, then it probably wouldn't even match the experience. Not even slightly, since, uh... You know, in order for a VR space game to work, you kind of have to be in space or at least zero Gs. Which I don't believe is possible. That reminds me. I do know, like, doesn't, like, Pro play No Man's Sky in VR? He does, yeah. <laughs> is it fun, or...? According to him, it's pretty damn fun. But I don't know, I don't have a VR headset. That thing's expensive, too. I don't know how the fuck he's got one. Well, like, $300. It's not too bad, but, I mean, you are right. Someone who can't even work at a gas station. I don't see how someone like that can afford one, but... I mean, he's had that before he even started working, so... Works at a gas station? Uh, gas station restaurant thing. I'm not even really sure what it is. Oh, it's really one of those... He insists it's not a gas station, but from the way he's described it, it's 100% a gas station. Maybe it's like a gas station that has a restaurant. You know, like one of those gas stations that got a McDonald's with it? Well, yeah, but think one of those, but its own <laughs> restaurant, I guess. Aww. In this episode, it's like part four. You know, like the Italian dude. Oh, uh, Tonio. Yeah. What about him? I just I realized what his stand is it's called Pure Jam. I don't even remember what his stand is. What is? Stand, well, I do know that. Uh, name I do is. know the. Japanese. I know the Japanese like translation of it. Well, the actual name of it, it's called Pearl Jam. Yeah, but Pearl Jam is a band. Yeah, or a and song they couldn't use that. So, if I remember correctly, his stand can like make food. I think. His or, like, stand. I think enhances flavor and effect of any uh, consumable inactive. Oh my fucking god. Please. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Please. Please don't make me do this anymore. I'm going to recharge my oxygen and then I'm going to go ahead and get off. As 5 o'clock is a very... Barely. Very early time to wake up, especially for the cow who does not like waking up on weekends. Joseph Joestar. Joseph Joestar. Do you like young Joseph more or yes. old Joseph? Young Joseph. Old Joseph is cool, but is a far cry from his prime. 
Mm-hmm. Adrift. That's the stream, everyone. I hope y'all have a good, a good rest of y'all's night. Mm -hmm. Give you a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs>